Here's how to make a sprite using Microsoft Excel. Now I'm using the free version of Microsoft Excel called Microsoft Excel Starter. You might be using an older version, but the techniques I'm going to show work for any version of Excel that I've ever seen, including a lot of other spreadsheet applications. Now the first thing you need to do is take all these cells and make them square, since most pixels are square. You do that by clicking on this little space over here between the 1 and the A, and that will select all the cells, all the rows, all the columns, everything completely in your spreadsheet. Uh, some people I've seen click and try to drag. The problem is you can keep dragging forever. It'll just keep adding numbers and letters on until it runs out of memory space. So don't try that. Just click the spot here. It's a lot faster. Then you need to make the cells and rows be the same size, the same width, the same height. To do that, you click on the lines in between, in this case it's the columns, and you see how two numbers pop up, the width and 8.43 and also 64 pixels. Go by the second number, the number of pixels. And you know, it doesn't really matter what number you pick, I'm just going to go with 30. So long as, and I'm going to adjust the rows, you pick the same number for both of them. So if I pick 30 for the columns, I need to pick 30 for the rows. If I pick 29 for the columns, I need to pick 29 for the rows. They need to be square. Now, once they're square, it's just a matter of coloring them. You color them using this nifty little paint bucket tool up here. If I just click that, it makes the cell yellow. Now, what if I want to use another color? There's a little arrow next to this. And I have a bunch of colors I can pick from. I can click here where it says more colors, and I can go with even more varieties. But you know, for what I want to do, you know, this is fine. Now I can select an area by clicking and dragging. Maybe I want a larger area to be colored all at once. There, now I colored it all at once. You can select in rows if you want to. And I don't want that to be yellow. I want that to be black. There we go. You can also copy a color. If you want to copy an exact color, you can click on the cell that you've colored already. Press Control C to copy. Click where you want to paste and press Control V to paste. You could also go up to the edit command, but I find the shortcuts are much faster. Now you could also copy the whole thing. If I select all of this, Select from here. Control C to copy. I'll paste over here. Control V to paste. And now I have two copies of the same thing. It copies everything, including the blank cells. So you know, just keep that in mind. If I go here and press Control V, it's going to paste right on top. Now, actually, that looks kind of cool, but never mind about that. If you make a mistake, you can always undo it. Press Control Z and it will undo whatever you just did. All right, so those are the basic steps to making a sprite. The rest is just choosing what you want your sprite to look like. And I'm not gonna go into that here. I'm gonna let you decide that on your own. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.